Welcome to Vlogmas Day 18. Okay guys, so you guys wanted me, I had requests to do like some looks with my BoxyCharm palettes for Vlogmas. So today we're going to do a get ready with me. I'm doing a vlog style, it's on my phone, but I do have my ring light set up so it should be half decent i'm looking a little crooked here there we go that's a little bit better so for today's video i am going to use i don't know what i'm doing but i'm going to use this palette from storybook cosmetics the little briar rose palette that i got in my boxy lux for december this is what the colors look like i swatched them they're very very pretty so i guess we're just going to jump on into it Let's take out my little mirrors because I need to use them. And it's just going to be a talking video, so I'll try to remember to talk while I'm actually doing my makeup. Because I sometimes forget. <laughs> oh, cord. Alright, my brushes need to be clean, so that might be coming up in a video. Uh, uh, the only thing that sucks about this is a lot of my makeup's behind me, so you're going to see me reaching like this, so... Don't mind that. I'm not going to prime my eyelids because I'm probably not going to leave it on, to be truthfully honest with you guys, because I'm not really doing a lot today. So let's just have a look-see. If you guys can hear noises, um, they're doing the roof, so it's going to be kind of, you might hear noises in the background of like machines and stuff, so I'm just wanting to let you know. All right, so the first color that I'm going to take is this color in Woodland right here, and I'm just gonna put this down as a base, I think. Oh, my mirror has like, gook on it. Ooh, that might be a little too, um, that might be a little too orange as a base. Oh, it's not that bad. Not that bad, but it's not the greatest either. All right, I'm just going to take the top of the brush and I'm going to go in with spindle, I think. Do I want to use spindle or do I want to use thorn? Um, <laughs> or I also have briar rose, which is like this peachy color. You know what? <sighs> trying to decide here. This is my first time using this palette, so I'm not sure. I don't know what kind of look I want to go for with it. That's what the thing is. I'd like, do I want to use the cooler tones or do I want to use the warmer tones? I'm going to use Spindle, which is this one up here in the middle. And I'm just going to use the top of my brush and I'm just going to put that in my crease and I can use a blending brush later on to blend it out. Sorry guys, if you can't see it that well. Don't worry about it being messy because like I said, I'll blend it out with a blending brush in a minute. These colors are going on pretty well. They're really pigmented too. Like I swatched some of them last night and the mattes didn't seem to swatch that great so I was kind of worried but a whole different story when you're putting them on your eyes. All right, let me see my blending brush. This is a large bl blending brush from Luxie. That's a little squashed because I had it in Halifax. <laughs> well, Dartmouth. All right, so that's pretty neutral looking there, right? Like so. I'm going to take a deeper color. I'm going to, oh, Tigger, no, now, we can't be doing that now. Go, go, get it, get this. <laughs> this is what happens when I have unedited videos and I don't shut my door. He's going to knock over my ring light. Tigger, go. I don't even have this turned up all the way, guys, but I don't think I need to, do I? That's too bright, isn't it? Is that too bright for you guys? Blurs out the background, eh? So there, I'll just turn it down a little bit. Oh, that's awful. 
a little bit louder than it was too. All right, you can stay there, but you can't come over here. All right, I was just looking here. I'm gonna take a little bit of Grim. It's a really dark color right here. And I'm just gonna put that like, I'm gonna take it again on the top of this brush. Now he's gonna go up on the table cable box where he's not supposed to be. And I'm just gonna put a little bit in the outer V and then I'll worry about blending it out in a minute. This isn't a professional video mic, so you don't have to wake laying on the bed. So. Oh, no, well, he's okay. He's on the dresser. Okay. I'm just letting Mike know that it's not like a professional video where I shut my door and do everything. All professional. This is vlog style. Get ready with me. So he can make noise if he needs to, because sometimes he's worried that if he makes noise, he's going to ruin my video. He's just considerate like that. This doesn't feel right. This isn't half the problem. There you go. There's my better blender. I was going to say, that doesn't, it feels kind of stiff. Okay, I want to add a little bit more. It's better to go light hand it and then build your way up. That's what I do. It's not really the outer, don't worry about it being over here either because I don't have foundation or anything on so I can clean that up. And like I said, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just going for it. <laughs> and all my foundation is all behind me, of course. off of that all right so for over my lids i think i'm going to take the color ooh, enchant it which is this one right here and i'm going to put that all over my lids don't mind this i wiped that off on my hand <laughs> i'm bad for that What? It might come out better with my. It might come out better if I put it on with my finger. These are really soft. Oh yeah. That's a lot better with the finger. You can see the glitter in it more. But you gotta remember to blend the edges. All right, so I guess that's pretty much what I'm going to do for my eye look, guys. I just want to keep it nice and I, you know, You guys know, if I, you guys know me at all, you just know that I'm more of a neutral girl anyway. <coughs> but I would love to dip into those blues that are in this palette and do some sort of look. If any of you guys are interested in that, maybe I can do that again, like through vlogmas maybe that could be like a new year's look or something i really gotta clean my brushes though because my brushes are a mess and uh, there's a little bit of fallout on that enchanted color but if you guys would like to see these blues in a look this palette's gorgeous i just look at it it's just mm, gorgeous yeah i like that it's like nice neutral with a pop of like a little tiny bit of burgundy in the crease for the look. So, um, if you just take like a baby wipe, since I don't have my, Mike's going to get me copyrighted. <laughs> um, if you just take a baby wipe and just do that, you can kind of clean up the edges. All right, let me see what I can do for foundation here. Um, <laughs> all right, I'm just going to use my Wet n' Wild foundation because, as I said, I'm not really going to keep it on. So, 
and I will use where is my boxy charm there this boxy charm foundation brush I actually kind of like those brushes I haven't been using concealer lately because I don't use concealer a lot I don't find I need it And I haven't always been using bronzer. This stuff sometimes takes a while. I don't know what to do with the cap. I lose the caps all the time. Oh no. I think I just made a big boo boo guys. Um, when I was in Dartmouth, I forgot to take a brush for highlight. And I'm pretty sure there was still some highlight left over on this brush because I used it. So there might be a little bit of highlight in my foundation. Oh, well. It is what it is now. It's done. What's done is done. I lost the cap for that foundation already, too. Oh, just found it. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to use my hands because my hair is stuck to my face. And sometimes I just like to use my hands. That actually blended in pretty good though. Yeah, I'm not going to use any concealer because I don't think I have dark circles under my eyes. I think I'm good. A lot of, with dark circles anyway, it's, it's a lot to do with, um, being hereditary. And nobody in my family really has dark circles. I guess we lucked out. Alright, I'm going to use some of this Cover FX powder because I'm trying to use it up. Although it comes in handy for travel, but I don't travel that often, so. I love my Becca setting powder though, so I should have used that. And I just find this is hard to get out of the little container. Start off with that. And I'm going to take this powder brush from BoxyCharm. And I'm just going to pat this on my face. This powder brush is really good for like tapping in the Becca powder. Because that powder has like sometimes... When I put that powder on, I feel like I'm dragging everything because it's like a wet powder. It, like it feels wet, the Hydra Mist powder. It feels wet going on your face, so I feel like I'm dragging it across my foundation and dragging my foundation with it, so. Okay. That'll do, donkey, that'll do. There's actually quite a bit in here. This is going to take a lot to go through because it's quite a bit in there. I didn't think what there is. Alright, I'm going to use my butter bronzer because I like my butter bronzer. It's my favorite. I just can't seem to bring myself to go with other bronzers. I always go back to the butter bronzer. There goes my brush. Good thing they need to be cleaned because it's on the floor now. I'm starting to wear this butter bronzer down because the design is starting to wear a bit, but it takes a long time to go through bronzer. Well, it takes a long time to go through any powder product, really. Oh, I just, every time I use it, I'm so intrigued by the smell. My lips are really dry. You can tell it's winter. Bring some down on my neck and drag it down. I'm, I'm using it as my bronzer plus a light contour. Bring it down under here and just bring it down a bit. And this is how I ended up with brown inside my white balls up here. It's from bronzer. I don't contour. I just kind of lightly contour with my bronzer. I don't specifically contour, so... 
case you guys wondered about that. Oh, I love the smell of this. I know I already said that, but I'm going to say it again. I'm going to use this Too Faced blush today. I'm using the viewfinder so I can't see very well so I don't know if I just went too heavy handed with that or not. I'll look in a minute. I'm just using the viewfinder as a guide for right now. Oh no, not too bad. Don't be sad, not too bad. Where's that from? Oh, the 80s My Little Pony cartoon. The Bush Willies. Oh god, I'm giving away well, you guys know my age. I'm 41, so I mean, I'm getting up there, right? 80s cartoons are my jam. And Mike's laughing at me because I said I'm getting up there because I'm 41. Actually, you know what? I I made a big deal last year over my 40th birthday. Like, I'm turning 40. I'm turning 40. And this year, I was telling everybody I was turning 39. I said I was going backwards. I don't think we're allowed to do that, are we? I wish. No, age is just a number. It's more about how you feel. But some days, I feel like I'm 86. But I'm sure people in their 20s sometimes feel like they're 86, too, so... I feel like I got like, every time I do my makeup, I feel like I got a boogie in my nose or I got a hair stuck to my face. Never fails. Okay, I'm going to take this pencil brush and uh, smoke out under my eyes. I'm going to use, um, I'm going to use Grim very lightly. Where'd my, I need my net magnification mirror for this one. Look what I did. Good job, Sherry. I don't know how I'm going to get that up without destroying all my foundation work. And I really do feel like I got... Okay, I'm going to try to dab this eyeshadow off my face. <laughs> Great. So there's going to be a spot there with no foundation on it. So, you know, that's that's cool. And I think I'm going to take that silver and be a... No, I'm not going to take the silver. That's going to ruin it, isn't it? If I put the silver in the inner corner. You know what? I'm going to go for it anyway. There's no rules. Screw it. You know what? Let's do it this way. <coughs> that's pretty. Oh, that's that silver is really pretty. All right. Maybe it doesn't match because I'm going with a cool tone and I have all warm tone shadows, but I like this palette. And you know what I got to do? Because it's the most satisfying thing in the world. Ta-da! <laughs> yeah, I'm a nerd. I know. All right, so now I'm going to need some eyeliner. Yes? Yes. Actually, you know what? Let's spray this first. <clears throat> I'm going to use my Skin & Co. Mm, that smells herbally and refreshing. Okay. And I, I can actually wear red lip with this. I'm going to let this fan out. I'm going to put my foundation stick back. And normally I would wear primers and stuff, guys, but I'm not leaving this stuff on, so I didn't bother. 
like it, it's not going to be long on for a long enough time that I need to, you know, so eyelash curlers. I don't need a blue. Okay, what kind of okay? Damn girl mascara is what I'm gonna use. And um I've been loving this eyeliner in the waterline from Urban Decay. If this runs out, I might consider getting a full size of this because it's very, very pretty. It's like a champagne color. What's it called? I can't make it out because it's too glittery. Quartz, I think, is what it's called or something. I'll link it if I think of it. This is going to sound weird, but when you have a visual impairment, you find little ways to like make it up for stuff that you can't see. So what I would normally do with this is I would take my phone and take a picture of the name of it, and then I'd look at it on the phone, and then that way I'd know what color it was. Because with the glitter and the writing, where the writing is lighter color, I can't make out what it says. So I find little ways to adjust. Oh, space dust. I'm pretty sure that's what that says, space dust. Okay. I just put my elbow on my makeup brushes and I thought Tigger was up beside me again. I was getting ready to holler at Tigger. But it's just fuzzy makeup brushes, not a fuzzy cat. Put on my eyelashes. I know this is probably relatively plain and boring for a lot of you guys for a holiday look, but I don't go crazy. Sometimes I like to play with color. Look at that wand. It's like crazy. Um, but sometimes I just play it safe, especially during the holidays when I'm getting ready to go somewhere because I don't want to, unless I'm taking a lot of time or I practice the look beforehand. I don't want to mess it up. But if you guys would like me to, if you guys would like to see me do a look with the um, storybook palette with like a blue look, I didn't wear blue today because I have a green shirt on, so that would have looked a mess. But yeah, I can definitely do that for you guys. All right, so I need. I think I need a red lip. My lips are a little chapped right now, but I think I need a red lip. So let's see what I have in here. Nothing in there. Okay, well, you know what? I'll put the drawers away after I take the ring light out of here. Okay, Too Faced, I definitely have red lips. Yeah, I'm going to wear this one, which I think is called, like, Cinnamon something. Cinnamon Bear. Or should I wear Candy Cane? Candy Cane's not a true red, though. If you look at them, Cinnamon Bear is like a true red. Candy Cane's like a pink red. And you can really see the difference when you put them side by side. Or should I wear, like, Gingerbread Girl? Gingerbread man's like an orange, but gingerbread girl is like a, you know what, let's try gingerbread girl. It looks like this. Do you think? I don't know. Let's try it. This is probably going to be. Oh, it smells so much like gingerbread. Is this going to look all wrong with this look? Yeah. Oh, well, we're going for it.
my lips are probably a little too chapped. That's the most terrible application I've ever done with a liquid lipstick. I'm telling you right now, it's a mess. So I will clean it up um, in a few minutes. My lips are chapped and I can feel it. But anyway, this is what I got from my holiday look with this palette, which is really nice. And I don't think this lip goes with this look. Let me look. <laughs> it's not bad. But it's the messiest application ever. But anyway, this is what I came up with. I probably could have blended a little bit better, but I didn't know what I was doing. It's my first time playing around with this palette. But I do really want to dive into those blues and silvers. I really, really do, because I just think I could come up with something special with those. And cool tones look... Well, warm tones look... I, I'm a neutral, so I can wear cool or warm tone, I find. But a lot of people like it when I do, like, a full-on smoky eye, like, with, like, a dark color all over my lid. You guys usually comment a lot when I do that with my eyeshadow. But anyway, this was Vlogmas Day 18. I hope you guys enjoyed it because I know a lot of you guys have been wanting me to do some sort of makeup look. So I finally got around to doing it. Does it look better if I turn up the exposure on the, uh, the ring light? That just washes out the background, makes everything dark. Anyway, I will talk to you guys all tomorrow. Bye, everyone.